friends, welcome back for another video. Happy Vlogmas. I have officially missed three Vlogmas days, so it's safe to say I would be a terrible daily vlogger. <laughs> but I'm trying to get caught up and I wanted to give you guys my review on Instant Family. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it already if you're foster parents. If you haven't, spoiler alert, I am going to be talking um, a lot about what happens in the video. So if you haven't seen it yet, don't watch this till after. I don't want to spoil it for you. I am going to give this movie a 10 out of 10. I don't think they could have done it any better to portray foster care to the general public, to the average movie viewer. I want to talk about the things that I loved about it first. I loved that it was real and honest. You don't know it's based on a true story. It was clear that it was written by somebody, like one of us, a foster parent. So what I loved about it was they showed the negatives of CES or DCFS, but in a humorous way. And there's two main social workers, so that's not really accurate. More, You would more than likely have more social workers involved in a case. So it kind of showed these two main character social workers that were kind of following them through the case. And that's not really realistic, however, their sarcasm and like banter off each other were just hilarious and they were just kind of poking fun at a lot of the truths of the foster care system. But it was really interesting to see how Ellie and Pete kind of started off and they showed the classic like honeymoon period where everything is going well and you see them at a support group and they're saying like, no, we just got lucky, we got really good kids and all the other foster parents were laughing. Oh, I was cracking up so much at that part. And then, you know, once the honeymoon period is over and real life has set in, how they're kind of talking. They have a talk in bed about how this was the worst decision they've ever made and can they send them back and saying things like that. Now, in saying that, I think that would be a huge trigger and a very negative part for a foster child to actually see because we need to try and protect them from those emotions. It's not saying that those emotions don't happen. And they kind of like, you know, over exaggerate it and make fun and you know, they make a little joke about, we can say that they were called back. You know, it had nothing to do with us and people will still think we're saints and they were kind of joking about how they like that part of it, which I don't think most foster parents actually feel. I know for myself, like that's the most uncomfortable part about it is people always telling me, oh, you're a saint and you do such good things because it's just a need and we're just meeting a need. So they're kind of joking and poking fun of that. But however, I think that would be really harmful for a foster child to hear. So that was a little bit, like I loved it because it was real, but it was a negative as far as if, you know, I was going to take a foster child to it. An older foster child who would understand that I don't really think that was appropriate for them, but I mean, if they're old enough to kind of get the humor of it, then, then maybe, but anyways, loved how accurately they portrayed Lizzie, who's the oldest of the three children. So Pete and Ellie adopt three children or they foster three children hoping to adopt them. I really love how they portray that she was the one that was mothering them and the youngest one when she would throw a tantrum or whatnot and Ellie would try and say like, let me do this. And she was like, oh fine, you wanna do this? <laughs> and it was clear that she was the one who had been parenting her younger siblings and that was just so realistic of what actually happens in foster care with the oldest sibling, they tend to take on that parent, parental, that caregiving role. And it's a very hard dynamic to break and just let them be a kid and let the foster parents actually do the parenting. So I thought that was a really accurate portrayal. Another thing that I thought was really accurate, sad but accurate, is how the son, the foster son, how he was kind of scared of doing something wrong and like shuddering that he was gonna get hit or, you know, just kind of portraying how a child who has been abused may potentially act. I think that was really accurate as well. How close the three of them were as a family uh, in the beginning when they actually decide, cause you know, they weren't planning on adopting a teenager, but that scene is hilarious when they're talking about <laughs> adopting a teenager and Lizzie comes over and is like, we can hear you. Like it was a really funny scene, you know? And then the reunification and that was really real and how after their mom had been been in jail and after everything Ellie and Pete had done for them, Lizzie especially still really wanted to go back to her mom and she just wanted to be with her mom and that is 100% accurate and true and right for kids in care. But the younger kids, because they hadn't had as much time with their mom, they wanted to stay with Pete and Ellie. So it was just interesting the dynamic there where you see the siblings kind of wrestling with that, you know, wrestling with the loyalty, who they should stay with, where, you know, where they feel safe versus who is their mom kind of thing. Um, especially the little girl, you see that she doesn't want to go back to her biological mom. And in the end, the spoiler alert, the biological mother 
um, admits and doesn't show up to the pickup when they're supposed to be reunified. And when the social workers go there, they had said that it's clear that she's been using again. And I mean, that's ultimately a very real thing that happens in foster care and you just see how Lizzie completely breaks down and I mean in the end it's a beautiful happy family story but having an adoptive family through foster care as you know obviously if you're a foster parent is certainly not without its struggles so I thought the video just portrayed things very accurately and it was just hilarious I went to the movies by myself because I just couldn't wait to see it and I just, we, my husband and I don't get date nights often and I just really wanted to see it until like a Wednesday or Thursday night, like late night show after I had gone to the gym and I was literally the only one in the theater so I thought that was kind of funny but I had it all to myself. Anyways, it was an amazing movie. I highly recommend it if you're a foster family. You'll just be you'll be able to relate so well to so much of it. I just love that the general public is kind of seeing this need and advocating for the need because they talk a lot about, that's the other thing I wanted to bring up, they talk a lot about the statistics and just kind of making light of it but really portraying the statistics about how many kids are in care and how, you know, who gets help and how much help is actually needed. So definitely go see it. I give it a 10 out of 10, A++, whatever the critics rate it by 100%. It was an awesome, awesome movie. So I highly recommend it and let me know if you've seen it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'd love to get other people's opinions on it. If you thought it was good, if you thought something could be portrayed better, if you thought it was accurate, um, I would love to know your opinion. So let me know in the comments down below. And again, I just want to reiterate, there's definitely some triggers um, in there for a foster child to see. So I don't know if it's definitely something you would take your foster children to. I mean, but obviously you know them best and you're going to have to assess that for yourselves. But there's definitely some triggers there. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, let me know down in the comments below what you thought. Like this video if you liked it and if you saw Instant Family. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!